I'll ring you back when they've gone. Mr. Pulling. Yes? May we come in for a few moments? Have you a warrant? Oh, no, no. It hasn't come to that. We just want to have a word or two with you. I wanted to say something about the Gestapo, but thought it wise <clears throat> not. You know a man called Wordsworth, Mr. Pulling? Yes, he's a friend of my aunt's. Did you receive a package from him in the street yesterday? I certainly did. Would you have any objection to our examining the package, Mr. Pulling? I most certainly would. You know very well what's in it. My aunt's already told you it's an urn with my mother's ashes. And so those ashes, they are Mrs. Pulling's? There they are. See for yourself. On the bookshelf. I'd like to take a sample for analysis. If you think I'm going to let you play around with my poor mother in a police laboratory... I can understand how you feel, sir, but we have very serious evidence to go on. We took some fluff from the man Wordsworth's pockets, and when analysed, it contained pot. Pot? Marijuana to you, sir. Likewise, cannabis. Wordsworth's fluff has got nothing to do with my mother. We could get a warrant, sir, easily enough. But seeing as how you may be an innocent dupe, I'd rather take the urn away temporarily with your permission. You can check with the crematorium. The funeral was only yesterday. We already have, sir. But you see, it's quite possible that the man Wordsworth took out the ashes and substituted pot. Now, you may have known he was being watched. Your aunt said you planned to keep it in your garden. Now, you wouldn't want to see that urn every day and wonder are those really the ashes of the dear departed? Or are they an illegal supply of marijuana? We'd only take out a tiny pinch, sir. All right. Take your pinch. I suppose you're only doing your duty. They've taken away the urn. They think my mother's ashes are marijuana. Where's Wordsworth? 